Okay, in this video I'm going to show how easy it is to hitch up a buzzer to an APM2 or 2.5 or 2.6. So the most difficult part is just making sure that you get the right kind of buzzer. So I initially bought this uh, buzzer from SparkFun and it's called the PC mount 12 millimeter buzzer. Uh, this is the kind of buzzer that you need to provide a waveform into, or wave signal into. Uh, this will not work. Um, here's another buzzer that also won't work. This is the PX4 uh, buzzer. A very fancy buzzer, but uh, only works with the PX4. So this is uh, not helpful either for the APM. What we need is actually a piezo buzzer, P-I-E-Z-O. Uh, you can buy these from Radio Shack. I didn't buy this from Radio Shack, but um, I'm sure they have them. So uh, this is actually a 12 volt piezo buzzer. Uh, we're only going to be providing 5 volts, but it works fine. So um, then what you need to do is we will need to connect it to the signal and ground of A5. So if you look on the back of the board, uh, you'll see it's uh, A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So the sixth one along right here, we just need to connect the red to the signal and the black to the ground. So to connect it, what I do is I use these uh, crimp connectors, female crimp pins from Pololu. And I can also get these uh, crimp housings. So with these, I can make a nice little connector. And when you're done, it looks like this. All right. So then you can just take this, red wire goes into the signal, so it's A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Just plug that in there. Then plug in your APM. So once it's connected, uh, you'll find that when you arm, well, you have to trust me that I'm arming it. There it goes. It beeps twice at the beginning of the arming procedure. and then again once uh, the arm is completed. So as you probably know, if you're an Argicopter user, it takes uh, quite a long time to arm, especially the first time. So uh, it beeps twice at the beginning of the process and then twice again right at the end when, when you'll be able to provide throttle and spin the, thr spin the props. Uh, when you disarm, it does a single beep. There it is. I'll just do it one more time, I'm gonna arm it. The beginning of the process. There it is, it's done. Now I'm going to disarm it. Okay, that's almost all of what you get. Um, the last thing that it can do though is it can uh, be used as a battery warning. So if you've got a power module or some other kind of voltage and current sensor, uh, when the battery gets low, this will beep continuously. Okay, uh, next I'm just going to demonstrate how uh, this uh, buzzer can be used as a low battery warning. So I've connected up to my APM 2.5, which is mounted on my 3DR quad. Uh, you can see that the buzzer is connected to A5, although um, note that the labels on the side of the case are not perfectly lined up with the pins, but um, that, is in, uh, that is connected to uh, A5. Now I've got this APM powered both by USB and by a uh, battery here. So when I disconnect this battery, uh, the APM will continue to be powered, of course, to the USB, uh, and it will note the, the low voltage here because I'm using a 3DR power module, um, and we should hear the buzzer start buzzing. So disconnected the battery. Now it has, um, it, it actually takes 10 seconds of a low battery before the uh, battery alarm goes off. So you just need to wait, there it is. So it's off. Now there is actually no way to stop it. Um, once you get a low battery warning, that's it. Uh, even plugging in the battery again will not, will not make it go off. So I believe the only way to do it is to perhaps arm it and then disarm it. we go.
Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that if you're using a buzzer with RGCopter 3.01 or earlier, you may find that when your APM is powered only through the USB port, i.e. you don't have a battery connected, that the low battery buzzer goes off. So what's happening is that the RGCopter is sensing that the battery voltage is very low because there's no battery, and so after 10 seconds it's you know, raising the alarm. The only solution is to either always plug in a battery, even though you're connected through USB, or to disable the buzzer. So to disable the buzzer, what you do is you connect it through the mission planner, then you go to config tuning, then you go to standard parameters, so you look for copter LEDs, there it is, copter LED mode, and you'll see it's defaulted to buzzer, so you could set that to disabled and press right params, and then the buzzer will never go off. So then of course for your next flight where you really want the buzzer to work again, you'll have to set this back to buzzer and press right params.